Yo, what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're back with another designer returns closeout sale box. This ginormous box right here. This specific box retailed at $2,884.99 and the total cost was $191.31, giving the average price per unit. That seems a little bit off. So there's apparently 20 items in this box right here. This one specifically, I saw a lot of fire things from Gucci, from Versace, and brands that, I mean, you guys know about. So I'm so excited to go ahead and get into this because this box, I think is gonna be way better than the last one. But I do have that box right here. There's actually two boxes. I'm gonna be announcing the winner to the giveaway at the end of this video. I recorded the clip last night and I'm gonna throw it in at the very end of the video. If you wanna wait to that to see if you won this box right here. I'm not gonna be doing a giveaway this video because I have an insane giveaway coming for the next video that's coming out on Thursday that involves Gucci. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it and show you guys what we got in here. Show you some fire shots of me wearing this stuff throughout the video. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's go ahead and open this massive box. Basically, this is from a liquidation website where it's from stores or it's from, you know, all kinds of different things. Basically, they're like closeout lots for returns and all that kind of stuff. So some of this stuff might be like worn clothes or anything like that. Now, this specific box, I saw it had Gucci and Versace, like I said, which gave me an idea for if you guys didn't see the video that's going crazy right now, it's like 330. 30,000 views where I bought the cheapest designer items. You guys can get something from Saks Fifth Avenue, off Saks Fifth Avenue, Gucci sunglasses, these right here for like 90 bucks. They originally were 300 down to 90. Now I got the idea because this box is said to have some Gucci in it, some Gucci sunglasses and maybe some other stuff. So yes, those were $90 and they were originally saved down from like 300, you, uh, $210. So there's ways to get these designer brands for cheaper and hopefully this box shows you guys that you could do that and get some really cool stuff. So without further ado, let's get behind the table and open it. Where's my knife? Where's my knife? Where's my knife? I found my fuzzy blanket named Nuzzle, but I can't find my uh, knife. Oh, there it is. Let's, uh, I feel like I'm so far away. How do I How do I do this? So we have the massive box here, tons of tape. It's uh, That's disgusting. It just got some stuff on it. Look how dirty this is. Yum. This box was actually obliter obliterated. They like beat the crap out of this one, just like they did the last one. So if you guys are seeing the outside, it says send to Georgia. Type returns, categories, men's designer. That's all it says. There's another one. I was gonna rip them off, but I decided to show you guys that. And then this one says returns job out. I don't really know what those mean, so I'm just gonna continue to open this up and see what we got. Now let the music start. Epic build up music. You guys get to see what's on the inside. We got one cut, three. Two, oh, this is not work. Three, two. One. And we got a box. This box is just too big for this table. What do we got? Something gray. Let's go ahead and see what we got. First up, this is a jacket that says, <laughs> that works, that happened last time. PRPS GDS, I think that's PRPS. PRPS Goods and Company. I've heard of this brand before, and this one was originally 258 and down to $40, 84% off. This is actually a pretty nice jacket. I don't know why it would be so much on sale. This whole cut design has been really popular. We're like cutting like, Add different pieces together. Now, I forgot to mention this box is from Off Saks Fifth Avenue or Saks Fifth Avenue and Nordstrom, and I think maybe Bloomingdale's. I'm not sure, but that's it's like a combination of a few different places where all the stuff is from. So, Pure PS 280, that is the initial start of our retail size large. I would put this on if it wasn't hot in my apartment because I just had a candle going for like two hours. I gotta be better about where I'm sitting. How's this angle? Can you guys see? All right, we got a white box, we got something green. Let's see what we got here. We have a champion. This is like a, uh, a jacket, a champion performance jacket. Came in at $100 originally, down to $39.99. Very simple, it's a size small. It's a champion jacket, it's pretty nice. Reminds me of like a North Face jacket or just, you know, something like that. It's just like a fleece jacket, nice to keep you warm. Nothing crazy about this, Let's see if this would match my outfit. Absolutely probably not. This is tiny, why did I put this on? This just looks like a, a regular jacket, nothing crazy going on here. Let's keep it moving. Uh, we got something black here. This is something from Joe's, Joe's Collect. Okay, so I know Joe's jeans. They make pretty nice high-end jeans. I think they range from like 100 to $200. This was $298 down to 30 for this is like 88% off. That is almost like a tenth of the price. That is crazy. Size medium. This is a sweater my dad would probably wear. It's nice and soft. So far, we're doing just about as bad as the, the last one. But Joe's is definitely a good brand. I've heard of them before. I gotta get this off. I think you guys are able to see that. So we got a bunch of stuff. Why don't we just go for this? This looks like a box of shoes right here from Fila. These are the Volk 13 Mid Plus. I have not had a pair of Fila's for a long time. I know like Urban Outfitters are starting to sell it a lot more now. Let's see what we got. 
These look like a pair of freaking Timberland. What are these? This looks like a shoe you would wear in middle school or something. I this I don't this colorway is just kind of odd to me. It's like a weird I don't know fila. This is not a fila I'd wear. I know there's probably some cooler filas out right now. I, there there are actually originally seventy dollars market or you pay forty dollars forty two percent off size nine. I don't know if I would pay forty dollars for these, but I'm gonna have to say no. I'm gonna have to give that one a eh, no thank you. Those are a no from me. Let's keep moving and pull out what we got next. This looks like a tank top, rail tank top, size large, 100% cotton. I've had rail shirts before. I don't know if you guys have, this is like a kind of scoop tank. It's got like a nice little uh, seam down the back. Reminds me of the era of, you know, like Rick Owens and stuff. I feel like that era is kind of out a little bit now. Not Rick Owens, but other companies replicating the styles of that. This is from Nordstrom size large, headed at $12.49 and no other price. It doesn't have the market value or anything. If I had to guess, this is probably like a $30 tank. Nothing crazy, $35, and they had it down at $12. It's a cool tank. Rail is a good company. Pretty good for essentials, I would say. So, I mean, it's not a bad pickup. Let's see and keep moving. We have a tie here. This looks like a pretty interesting thing. I have not worn a tie, and I don't know how long. Let's see if we got a tag on here. So, this is a Versace tie. Okay. There's no like tag or anything on it. I guess it might've come off or something, but Gianni Versace, it's got a Medusa right here. Medusa head on me. I'm not a big fan of ties, but if you had like a black, all black suit, this would be like a cool touch, I would think. I gotta see how much this would be worth because there's no price tag on it. And let's keep moving. And we have something else here. We have a tank, another tank from NSF. This is again, like that, like Rick Owens era, I would feel like. It's got like, you know, the cuts on it. It's kind of like a vintage wash. It's a, it kind of looks like something you would layer, like a layering tank. You guys remember that era. I used to wear stuff like that. It's kind of cool. It's the size medium NSF. I wouldn't wear something like this because I'm not muscular. I, I, I have scrawny arms. So let's see how much this costs. This was $95 originally down to 59. And then I don't know if they just mark it with a pen. Before we keep going, because I just saw something that says Versace collection on the shoe box right here. Let's go ahead and cut to some scenes of me wearing some of this stuff. So you can see kind of a vibe of the different things that we have so far. Then we'll jump back and finish this up. Cause I just want to show you guys some of the stuff on. Okay, now we're back and I'm back in these clothes and you guys wouldn't know, but I just filmed that afterwards, not now, but let's keep moving. All right, we got another thing. Why do I keep closing my eyes? We have a something gray here. A shoe just flew out. Something gray. This is an Alexander Wang t-shirt. Okay, Alexander Wang's a really nice brand. This had to be expensive. This originally $250 down to $54.98, 78% savings. That's pretty good. It says T though. Is there something different for T Alexander Wang? Is it like a different line? But $250 for this, this is a great t-shirt. This reminds me of the James Purse shirt. It's, it's on backwards. It's a nice tank. This is clean. This, uh, this is something I'd probably actually wear. It's like 78%, what did I say, $35? This is not a bad price for $35. This is a pretty clean shirt. I mean, originally $250, it would never pay that, honestly. But uh, this is kind of nice. It's got a, like a seam on it. Let's keep this on and keep it moving and see what we have next. Oh yeah, this shoe right here. This is like a, it's like kind of like a Gucci wannabe buckle here. These were originally, or they just say $89.99, Saks Fifth Avenue. It says $89.99. No other price change. I hope there's a second one in here. I don't see it, but we have one. I assume there's another one in there, but it's just like a whole Han, you know, dress shoe. This is like a very generic, a lot of dads wear this. A lot of people will go out to a nice dinner, they'll wear this. I don't wear stuff like this. I have previously in the past when I was going to like events in high school, or whatever, but let's keep going. I don't, that's not my style. Then we have something from Nordstrom, a 1901 2XB polo. This goes with those last shoes. This is a polo. I've not worn a polo in so long. You know what that means? Why not put it on for you guys and you'll see what it looks like? 2XL, baby. <laughs> oh God, no way. I gotta get, get something else to put on because I'm not wearing this anymore. All right, we have a pair of Michael Kors sweatpants. Just a nice pair of black sweatpants. There's like a seam on the inside. These were originally $110 down to $29.99, 66% right there. You could see pretty, you know, they're Michael Kors, their sweatpants, and they have a little seam on them. I have worn Michael Kors. I just know Michael Kors for, I had a watch for Michael Kors as well as they have purses and stuff. That's the majority of what I know Michael Kors for. So, alrighty, next thing we have a pair of pants and these are, of course, a fifth pair of James Purse pants. These look a little bit different, but James Purse, standard, size four, originally 100, or it didn't say the original price. It says marked down to 119. These are probably like $200. If you guys remember the last video, we got four pairs of the same James Purse pants. If I put these pants on with this shirt, I would look like a dad going to a cookout. Oh, there's the uh, there's the other shoe. This one says $89.99 as well, so no markdowns on it. And size nine, made in Brazil. Looks like we got a few things left. There's like four things in here. There's actually the same tie 
What? Okay, I'm changing shirts because I'm not wearing this freaking bowl of the rest of this freaking video. We got another tie here. This one looks like it has a tag on it. This was originally $120 down to $59.99, 50% savings. So half off on the Versace tie. Same thing right there though. It's the same, like literally the exact same tie. And then we have a box and two pairs of sunglasses. There's also a tag back here. Something was $245 originally. So here are the last three things actually. Let's put the box to the side. You know what? So we got Versace shoes, and then we got a pair of Ray-Bans, and then these are the Gucci sunglasses right here. So one pair of Gucci sunglasses. There's no box or anything. They're kind of like a kinda like a bamboo type thing. These were originally $395 marked down to $169.97. Probably be cheaper in store. I don't like how those look. These kind of look, they don't look like they fit my, my, my shape of my face. They're kind of a little bit too rounded, but Gucci. Pretty cool you can find Gucci in the Saks Fifth Avenue. Now, I did find something for my video that's coming out on Thursday from Saks Fifth Avenue that is Gucci as well that uh, is some heat, but I've seen other people do it, find it before there, so that's why I'm not gonna hype it up too much. But we found something that has to do with shoes that is like 40% off, something like that. These are all right. They're like a tortoise and, you know, gold on the side. Nothing crazy going on. You got a little Gucci logo right there if it'll focus on it. There's a Gucci logo there. And then we have the Ray-Bans as well. This one actually has a case. They're a black case. We have Ray-Ban stuff here and then a pair of sunglasses. These are kind of cool. See how these ones look on me. Nice reflective. These fit my face a little bit better. Look like they have like scuffs or something on them. Yeah, there's like a scratch on the inside here. Maybe this is a return. There's a scratch. I don't know if you can see that. A scratch. There's like three scratches. So I, I don't know if you can see. There's like kind of scratches on the front. Nothing crazy though. These are something cool, maybe. Ray-Bans are like a very classic, you know, brand. These ones didn't come with a case, but not bad. And then lastly, we have a pair of Versace shoes. In this $200 box, we have a pair of Versace shoes that were originally $495. Marked down 59% to $199. That's more than the box itself. I guess these weren't a good seller. Maybe they're walked in or I don't know. Versace collection, so many different Versace verses, Versace regular. Looks like we have a dust bag on the top. Doesn't say Versace or anything. It's pretty nice to still have that. Versace collection, just another tag, size 42. Pull these out. And what do we hear? These are and I don't know about these. These aren't these aren't the hottest shoe to me. You can see right there, it's got like a buckle. It reminds me of like the Saint Laurent boot. They, uh, I don't know about these. It's a little different. Yeah, the bottoms look like they've been walked in, like they were tried on or something. Like there's like gunk under gunk under the Medusa head. But Versace shoes for that price is pretty good. You have a little. Uh, you can't see it inside of the box. There's nothing else. You just have the two shoes. The shoes themselves are not my particular taste, but the fact that we got them in a box that only cost two hundred dollars is a pretty decent deal. I'm happy with it. These are something that I can maybe get some value out of. So maybe I'll sell these to one of you guys if you're interested in them. I might be listing some stuff on my website from the older box or this box because the last box I didn't list them because I wanted to make sure I did the giveaway first. But these are just a nice shoe. $500 is a very steep price for this shoe. I would never even think about paying $500 for a shoe like this, but to get them in a box is kind of cool. So maybe that's why they're in the box and why they're marked down. Now let's go ahead and see some of the last things, what we kind of got into and see how much of a weirdness it is wearing these in slow-mo, like dad's clothes. <laughs> let's see. Guys, I'm checking in right now because it's time to pick the winner of the last giveaway. If you guys didn't see the last video, which you probably did if you're watching, I said you could win one of the two boxes, and now we're gonna go ahead and see. All you have to do is comment which box, or just subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up the comments now. Let's see how many we had total. We had 2,111 comments. It's a lot of comments. So as this loads up, once it loads up, I'll click randomly select winner, and then once it picks it, then that person will send them the box. I'll grab my phone to make sure they're gonna be following me on Instagram. We're gonna load up the winner in three, two, one, and we have WSS, W3S, let me make sure he's following me. Says he follows me. I'm gonna go ahead and message him now, tell him that he won, and uh, enter into the giveaways. If you wanna stay up to date, you can win. I try to do a giveaway like every video just to get back to you guys, because why not? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you did, please leave a like down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. The next video is gonna be a fun one. This is Harrison signing out.